and the chair of the Agriculture Committee, Paul Frew, is with me now. Thanks very much for joining us. It was a huge challenge for farmers, of course, and for the department. You've got concerns, and you expressed them today in the committee meeting, that uh, departmental officials didn't quite measure up to the challenge? No, I believe they reacted too late uh, to this crisis. Uh, I think as the emergency evolved over that weekend, I think the minister and the department were slow to react. I believe that they should have had people on the ground. I had called for the, the, uh, the deployment of TA. Uh, she had asked for air support. I believe then when she got that air support, she let it go too soon. Uh, because I believe that if we had uh, retained the air support and the Chinook helicopters, the two of them, that we could have saved thousands upon thousands of livestock. Well, you think that, but do you have any evidence for that? Because the officials today suggested that they did everything they were asked to do, that uh, food was dropped to sheep where sheep were seen, but short of actually dropping individuals in to dig sheep out, there wasn't really anything else that could be done. Well, the Chinook's helicopters uh, can carry th uh, tons and tons of uh, cargo, uh, feed, but they can also carry personnel, and I believe that personnel could have been dropped in and helped farmers uh, find and locate uh, livestock, and it would have saved them. I have evidence to suggest that there are sheep been pulled out uh, uh, even yesterday, alive from the snowdrifts. So I believe that whilst the Minister made the decision to withdraw the air support, the, the likes of the mountain rescue teams were still pulling livestock out, and they could have helped uh, uh, produce uh, more but better results with regards to this livestock being saved. Are you are you satisfied that the department was not primarily motivated by cost? Do you accept that? Well, I'm concerned uh, because this was a question that was raised at the last committee meeting. We had uh, discussions on this, and there were, the question was put, uh, you know, with the cost of the Chinooks. I wouldn't like to think that there was cost involved in any de decision making process because the true cost of this crisis is on the farming community. Um, they said today it was for technical reasons, not because of cost. I mean, do, do you yeah. accept that? Uh, I, I've asked the question, uh, and I've put it down in a written question to the Minister with regards to cost, and if this was part of the decision-making process. I'm not convinced as yet. Uh, I don't believe that the technical advice that they would have received uh, would have suggested that they did not need the air support. I believe at that point it was about speed and the Chinooks would have uh, produced speed. Okay, you were a bit of a lone voice with respect in the committee today. I mean, there were sheep farmers there. They had an opportunity to criticise the department. They chose not to take that opportunity. So it sounds like they're a lot happier with what was done for them than you are. Well, I think when you are a farmer and you are in dire straits, you will accept any help. And I must stress that the, the, the Chinook helicopters were a godsend. The farming community realised that. Uh, and they did produce results and they did get feed to the hill sites. Uh, and the farming community are thankful for the, the help and the support that they did receive. But I, as chairman of the Agriculture Committee, must scrutinise this and must scrutinise, scrutinise the actions of the Minister and the Department. And I feel that they have let the farmers down. And just finally, are you satisfied that the compensation scheme or hardship scheme which is being put in place for farmers will be fair? I think it needs to be fair but it needs to be drawn down very, very quickly. Uh, the reports we're hearing and the talks we're having with the farmer community is that we need the money now. Uh, so we need to get something that's balanced, that's fair, and it's something that could be produced within a matter of weeks. We've heard today that it could be a couple of months. That is unacceptable. So weeks rather than months? It has to be weeks. Okay. Paul Fruit, for now, thank, thank you very you. much.